So the plan for my free turning tool is to have a piece of quarter inch steel plate that I'm going to bolt to the top slide. I'll remove this, so I'll remove this top slide, bolt it to the cross slide, and then I've got a piece of cast iron, two inch diameter that I've machined down. A fair bit of machining to go on this yet. Um, but the quarter inch tool will sit in a slot here with bolts in from the top to locate it. And then you're about to actually move this and turn. And once this top slides out of the way and the plate's in place, you're going to get a lot of space and a lot of support because this will be bang on centre height. So here's my tool post. Um, so I've machined it all away now at the front so the tool can't overhang the, uh, the, the base. Um, that's very key and that was uh, thanks to someone online pointing that out. I probably would have missed that. Um, I've got a slot in the bottom. Now you see that's offset but that aligns with the centre of the tool with the edge here so that actually I can turn a radius um, and then I've got two M5 cap heads holding that quarter inch high speed steel tooling so it's coming on now for the actual plate that's going to sit on the cross slide so there's a bolt there that's head is proud so I'm going to machine a slight relief into the plate um, I think I'm going to cut it here because it needs to go just beyond centre, but I think only just beyond because I can move the whole the whole thing anyway once it's bolted onto here. Um, I'd like to use the existing fixings here, but I think I am definitely going to have to put one in the back here in the centre. So I'll have to put a fixing through the table there somewhere so that I can bolt this down nice and firm. But I'm going to cut this off. I'm going to have a couple of uh, pivot points for a start. Um, I'm going to round the corners, these corners a bit, and those corners, just to make it a bit easier to use, so it's not quite so, I don't want any sharp edges. Um, so I'll do that, and then I'll uh, show you where I get to. So a wide view of the freehand setting turn up on my, uh, on my Warco lathe. I've put the plate on the, on the cross slide here, it's bolted in with two, uh, kind of sunk cap heads that's that's on there really firm i've got marks here because i'm going to put holes in for the actual um, arm for the radius turning but before that i thought i'd give it a go and see how well it works so uh some quick footage of it in action so here it goes Okay, with the video camera over my shoulder, uh, um, I haven't got the greatest access, but you can see um, that actually this works really well. I've got to have a bit more of a play with some of the uh, tools just to get my feel for what works best, but that really works. Very pleased with it. So I've now got the rule all uh, marked out to 110 millimeters radius, which is, that's huge. I'm never gonna, I can't see me ever using a radius like that. Although it might be useful if I'm doing that on a piece of steel, but it's, that's pretty much pushing it. So um, the tool holder now has got the slot for the rail in the bottom. So the rail fits in there. Uh, there's a little, uh, indentation there so that this the the, the actual button that um, it all rotates on can actually go into there and I can get down to a zero and then also in here you'll see a little indentation and a hole where I'm going to put a button uh, and a bolt 
that allows me to tighten this ruler up. So the ruler fits into the any hole of six in the in the plate. Eight millimeter pivot point, a diamond pivot point that fits in any of these, as you can see, to give me different points. I can use the post freehand or I can use it to turn these radiuses. So I've got to make an adjuster just to uh, give me a very fine adjustment on the back here so that I can push this in by fine amounts and I'll do that later. But for now, um, I'm getting pretty close to having a working radius tool um, that I can actually just set and then move it on the, on the top slide. That's looking pretty good. I've just got to put some numbers on here uh, and put some black etching in. So I think my freehand turning uh, setup is more or less complete. What I've got is I've got the tool holder. You can see it's just shimmed up there with to get the tool on, actually on centre height. Um, I've got a a rule which you see. I've just blackened the lettering so you can see that. So that runs from the that's aligned with the the centre. Then we go 10 millimeters, one centimeter out, two, three, four, up to 110 cent, 110 millimeters or 11 centimeters. I've just stamped those on by hand. I shouldn't really probably have stamped them. It's made a bit of a bent that, but there, that's not bad. Um, this has got a center in the end, so there's the center pin peg. You can see that's eight millimeter diameter, and that fits in those eight millimeter holes there and rotates. It gives me good rotation and then the tool holder itself has got a little uh, lug on here that's uh, that's it's got a nut on the top and there's a groove that I machine down this uh, rule and I just slide that in and then just tighten it up and it's it just tightens up because look it just sits into that little indentation so it's all nice and flush on the bottom so I can take that into uh, nine millimeters. Let's just take it to nine millimeters radius. Now that is three quarters, so it should be about right. What I do is I move the center in, just to line this up, uh, and I can line that up here. So if we just put that on there, we can. If I just put a, actually with a, a square on here, I can line that up. So let's just line that up on there. That's very good. I can correct that when we're machining. So that goes on there. This goes in here. And then we can take this in and just start machining. So that's pretty good, I think. Let's try it. Light down onto it. Haha, <laughs> that works really well. So you can see I'm just holding it carefully. Gotta be careful, keep your fingers, keep it all nice and tight. There we are. And I'm turning the radius. It looks pretty well up. A match for that. Slightly bigger radius than the material, but I think that's pretty damn good. How about that? That works well, I think. <laughs> 